Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I got some more parts, so I wanted to do a uh, quick video. These are Mark's gondolas, both of them, and uh, came with some stuff that I got in the mail today. Anyway, missing their trucks, of course. And I always buy junk parts when I can find them, depending on what it is, of course. Anyway, when I was going through the trucks for that uh, passenger set, I pulled out a couple of Lionel trucks. Now, these are mismatched. In fact, this is a uh, plastic truck, of course, plastic coupler. This is a steel truck, as you see. This is actually a Scout truck. So it has a rather strange coupler on it. You can modify these to uh, work with a standard uh, Lionel knuckle coupler. And you take the spring off of this side, and uh, knuckle couplers are spring-loaded. They were a uh, automatic uh, coupler that... Uh, Lionel used, but for a very brief time, and only on specific sets, called Scouts, of course. Anyway, they will not couple with standard uh, Lionel knuckle. But if you take the spring off, there's a spring that goes on this side, you can just reshape that hook, and it'll couple perfectly with uh, Lionel knuckle coupler. Anyway, I've got uh, one standard coupler on this uh, gondola, and one of the modified Scout trucks, as you see. Anyway, I've just used uh, 632 uh, screws and nuts. Now, if you, try, uh, if you use a screw in the nut by itself, from the vibration, the nut will always come off. It'll last probably 10 times around the track, and it'll literally fall off from the vibration. So to lock these things in place, get them as tight as you want them, and then just put a drop of super glue on them. You see, this is still wet. Hasn't even dried yet. Anyway, I use a super glue gel, and you just put a, a glob of gel on there, and it locks the uh, threads on the uh, nut so it can't move. And uh, the nice thing about this, of course, is it's a lot cheaper than using Loctite, and you don't have to spend 40 cents a piece to use uh, Nylock. Anyway, just wanted to show you how well these... Uh, modified couplers work. So that's the Scout coupler on the rear. As you see, it looks very strange, and yet it couples perfectly with a standard knuckle coupler, as you see. It's just a hook, but it works. This end, we've got a standard coupler. Anyway, so a uh, new, um, I guess this would be the high side gondola made completely out of junk. Now, as you see, this is why I always say don't overlook the junk. It only takes a few minutes to turn some real junk into some decent rolling stuff. As you see, it runs absolutely perfectly. It costs virtually nothing. I bought an entire, I can't say box of parts, but a bunch of junk parts for 12 bucks. This was in there, the gray one was in there, various and sundry bits and pieces of junk parts. But they come in handy, especially for doing stuff just like this. So that new high side gondola made completely out of junk parts. As you see, it looks nice, it runs absolutely perfectly. Total cost, I don't know, probably $2, something like that, if that. And uh, the trucks don't match, but who cares? It gives you a new piece of rolling stock that was almost free. As you see, good solid couple at that end, good solid couple at that end, and this thing will run virtually forever. So a drop of uh, that uh, gel super glue to lock the threads, and this thing will never come off. You can take it off if you want to, but it'll never vibrate loose. That's the neat thing about it. And just as a tip, if you're using super glue, Lots and lots of times you go to get the cap off and it's almost impossible. Put a drop of oil on the threads for the cap on the super glue. Just a standard drop of any kind of oil. And uh, you'll never have problems unscrewing it again. It works really well. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, assembling these uh, cars out of parts. This could have been Mark's, could have been Lionel, American Flyer. You can turn it into anything. It's just a uh, basic gondola shell and it had no trucks on it at all. 
So you can turn it into whatever you want to turn it into. In this case, I found these two trucks when I was uh, going through the trucks for the uh, passenger car, so I just set them aside, knowing this was on its way. And as you see, it is up and running, made completely out of junk parts. But it looks nice, it runs perfectly. Like I said, total cost is probably two bucks, maybe, if that. So I'll put trucks on this one as well, put it back on the rail. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video. And again, I gotta say it, don't overlook the junk. You can make some really decent stuff out of parts, as you see. So just a quick video, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.